Hello and in this video we'll be wrapping up working on the essential parts of our chat app and that's of course the security rules as they're quite important for any app so that it doesn't get hacked. Here we are in our console and in our cloud Firestore where we store all of our messages. So to access our rules you can scroll up and go into your rules tab over here next to data. By default, this is the version you will have, the most bottom one. I have a few more because I've been experimenting with it. Otherwise, this is the version you will have, essentially a version that allows anyone to read or write to your data under any circumstance, which isn't what you want at all. So we're going to be changing all of this. So let's see what we have here. First of all, rules version two, we're not changing that as it's simply the version and it's fine. Next, we're selecting the service, so Cloud Firestore, which is what we're using. Next, we're selecting which part of the database we want to work with. So we're saying that we want to work with a data database. Next, we use something called a wildcard, which selects the current database that is used. Quite an interesting concept that we'll be delving into later. And we're saying that all these rules are going to be applied to every single document in the database. So now what we can do is copy all of this, go into the latest version and replace it. Next, we're going to be deleting all of this as well. So this is all we have left. Next, we're going to add another match. So basically we're saying slash messages. So we're accessing our messages collection and we're using another wildcard, which is going to be message ID. We could actually call it whatever you like. And in here, we'll select these brackets. And this is where we're going to be writing all of our rules. So first we're going to do the simplest bit. It's the reading. This part is very simple. So we can simply say, allow read. So a person can take data from the database if request dot auth dot uid isn't equal to null, which means that the person is logged in. If a person isn't logged in, he can't access the database. Simple as that. Next, for the writing part, we can say allow write if once again request dot auth dot uid isn't equal to no, like this, and, and, and. Next, we can say is request dot resource dot data data dot UID equals request dot auth dot UID. And our security rules are done. You can simply press publish and within the minutes, the new changes will be applied. So what we did here is say that the only person who can change a message has to be logged in and it has to be that specific user. Meaning I can't change a message of another user or I can't send a message for another user, but that user can send a message for himself. Simply checking that the correct person is logged in and sending his message and someone else isn't altering the database. Otherwise, these are very simple rules. In a future video, we'll be covering more in how to work with the security rules and all the things you can do with them. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.